this couple is trying to sleep and they keep on hearing this weird noise. The ring camera, from the ring camera, from the very, very back, there's a bear. And the bear just keeps on putting its nose up against the ring camera. All right, so this is kind of wild. There was uh, a murder that happened back in January 18, 2022. All right, this dude named Brandon O'Quinn Raspberry, age 32, was found dead inside of his mobile home. His last name is Raspberry? It is Raspberry. Okay. <laughs> is that significant? Rasby. Um, I, I guess it's interesting. Okay. I just didn't know anyone had a last name of that kind of a berry. I never heard of that before my whole life. Usually it's strawberry. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like yeah. Maybe in like a ruled doll book. <laughs> What's ruled doll? Ruled doll. <laughs> Guys, Deep cut, dude. Okay. That was good. Yeah. Okay, following a call to his landlord from his employer um, after he hadn't showed up for work in two days, the Gonzalez County Sheriff's Office announced on Thursday, this past Thursday, April 17th, that a 10 year old Texas boy confessed to the murder that happened two years ago. What? A 10 year old? Who's making him do that? Yeah. What? So what had happened was this same 10 year old boy recently, okay, well, let, let's go back to Mr. Raspberry. That's funny to say, Mr. Raspberry. That's what I'm saying. It's like, did you kill Mr. Raspberry or not? Like, yeah. I don't know, That's dude. pretty good. Okay, he uh, was found with a single gunshot wound in his head, though detectives found no leads after a search of the area and forensic analysis of the victim's mobile phone data. Mm. Right? So okay. they're like, cold case. Did the bullet years. come from like a three foot height? <laughs> the angle. Yeah. It's just in the it's shit. like this. <laughs> three, foot, three foot ten year old. Yeah. yeah. Usually. Okay, so, so were you? I bet you when you were three, it's about right. <laughs> yeah. So literally a week ago, though. I'm ten. All right. Ten. A so week ago, um, at uh, school, a ten-year-old boy had threatened to assault and kill another student on the school bus. Right. It's later <laughs> revealed by a school official that the elementary school student said that he had shot and killed a man two years prior. So he was then taken to the child forensic interviewer and he ended up describing in detail what he did to kill a man that was inside a trailer in Nixon, Texas when he was just seven years old. Wow. The boy te detailed that on January 16th, 2022, while visiting his grandfather who lived in the same RV park as Mr. Raspberry, <laughs> he carried out this crime. He never met Raspberry, doesn't know at all who this guy is only seeing him walking around that day all right he takes a pistol from his grandfather's glove compartment oh. goes into mr raspberry's mobile home while he's sleeping and just decides to fire a single shot wow. in his random ass murder oh jesus try him as a fucking adult yeah, yeah. Dude, this guy's a psychopath yeah Be try Whoa, try him as that. a try him as a dead child <laughs> <laughs> damn he just goes up to mr raspberry and just fucking Shot. While he's sleeping, had an urge. His Shit brain, job. his brain is just fucking wrong, dude. And then he yeah. takes yeah. the gun, puts it back yeah. in the glove compartment of his grandfather, who obviously didn't know what happened. And then his grandfather eventually pawns the gun off to somebody else in like Seguin, Texas, or whatever. So like, there was just, it was just a cold case. No, he had wow. no fucking idea what. Perfect happened. crime. No motive, no whatever. Nobody suspects a kid. Like, his it just fucking shit. happened. Yeah. Did you guys see that video that was uh, kind of going viral about um? I think it was in California. Um, it was a ring camera of a outside of a couple's bedroom, and the couple was sleeping in the middle of the night. And this guy in full like army fatigue has like a rifle, and he's aiming it at the couple. He clicks in the same room. He's outside the house, the but the ring camera is seeing him, and he clicks. He pulls the trigger. No bullet comes out because he didn't rack it or whatever the term is, right? Gun guys, I know gun guns. He and didn't. He, ch -ch -ch. Yeah, he didn't. Yeah. Ch -ch. He shoots, and then he leaves he's like oh shit he kind of realized what happened and then just left and they found him and they charged him for like attempt to murder yeah but like a way crazier sentence yeah. but but the, the video of him just standing outside and just that's fucking crazy. but he was in full like army fatigue did he was, was there any relationship between no, him and random guy what is wrong with Holy people fucking nuts yeah. dude same thing in milwaukee actually this is a ring camera right set up this couple is trying to sleep and they keep on hearing this weird noise. The ring camera, from the ring camera, from the very, very back, there's a bear. And the bear just keeps on putting its nose up against the ring camera. And it, like, keeps, it just keeps on like smelling the ring camera. It's crazy. Like that? It's crazy. It's a cold case. 
Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. We have bears in Milwaukee. The bear was unmarked too. In Wisconsin, yeah, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, yeah. Yeah, the Milwaukee bears. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't identify it. Don't tell Chicago. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cute. <laughs> He just kept sniffing. Yeah, he just kept putting. He kept leaving a nose mark on the. That's so cute. Yeah. It's kind of cute. Yeah. It's crazy. Following the psychiatric evaluation and treatment, the ten-year-old was booked on charge of making a terroristic threat relating to the school bus incident. Um, that's the only charge given at the moment because the Texas Penal Code states that a child does not have criminal culpability until they reach the age of 10, but he did this when he was 7. What? <laughs> I know. So murder charges have not been filed. <gasps> Dude, I'm so you can involved. do whatever you want up until you're 10? <laughs> Don't tell the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell them. <laughs> Damn, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, that's nuts. I mean, oh, he won't be allowed wow. to return to the elementary school. Good. That's good. Wow. That's a good. start. But that's going to be scary having him grow up and be on the streets. This kid should be watched at all times. There should be an FBI oh, van sh on every fucking street corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with the headphones yeah. watching him. Yeah, all of them. I mean, kind of though, right? Like yeah. seriously? Yeah, legit, legit, legitimately. And if he's making dude. threats, it's like you know he's gonna do it. Yeah. Yeah, this yeah. is repeated behavior. Dude. Yeah, because it's not a yeah, it's not even a threat anymore. He's done it before. What does your grandpa do now? He's just like, hey, uh, I, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I keep my pistol in my glove compartment. Just leave the door unlocked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. They should really just trade him to be like a weapon of war or some shit. Right? <laughs> and just yeah, like, like, hey, you want to do this for the good guys? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, let's talk traits and put a little spin on him. Oh, uh, nothing we could do. He's he's under ten. Sorry. That's imagine, crazy. I to me. can't imagine a comeback from that. No. You know, like, can you imagine this kid on like Maury and then they, <laughs> and they do some kind of like put him in a camp, scare him straight, comes out. It's like, I'm a hairdresser now. <laughs> I'm gonna trust that guy. Not gonna work. There's no way, dude. Just hit delete. That That is kind of a sick ass, like, thought, though. Like, if you're not gonna fucking punish him, you're like, all right, we gotta do this for the good guy. So you just, like, that's recruit him into some sort of fucking if assassination trait, squad. If that's a naturally occurring trait in a human child, like, it's not going away, dude. Yeah. You gotta yeah. do, it, do something with it. He won't have that fear of like just walking into, you know. I don't know if I want to give that child sleeping. skills, more skills, whether no. it's for you or not, because your dog could just turn on you at that point. Dexter, you know, you gotta have hope. Yeah. Mm. No, still, I'm good. We're still still good. Guys. Delete, delete, yeah. abort, abort, delete. <laughs> late thing is late term abortion. Yeah, <laughs> abort, really abort. Late. <laughs> but you can't, you can't give him, you know, a murder charge because he's under 10. Yeah, oh, yeah, we're right. not trying to That's give him a charge. We're, we're trying, trying to murder to him. him. Yeah. Oh, you're trying to just delete oh, him. Yeah. You can't murder uh, the kid. But going off of the using it for We could good, delete him. That's why, yeah, okay, then here's the solution. <laughs> the solution is find the last kid who was just like him and that kid murders him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Or the next kid. A vicious cycle. <laughs> you talk, you talk to the, the raspberry family, like, what justice would they want? Because they'll be like, dude, yeah, do they want to take out the kid? That fool's just sleeping and gets shot in the head and nothing happens because he's seven. This is him horsing around, you know? Yeah, like, this is what he does to fuck around. Scared, right? Randomly headshotting people? Yeah. This is him visiting his grandpa. Yeah. Let's get the kid from the Blackberry family. <laughs> yeah, we're playing a little switcheroo. So what happened with the bear? bear? <laughs> yeah. Does he have footage on that? He knocked it. I think he knocked the camera down, too. <laughs> I don't have any footage. Financial ruin the family. Down. Definitely not. Yeah.